Hello to all my friends out there. I hope everyone is doing okay. So this is Mornings with Rhoda. And I'm doing it the night before. <laughs> so, wow. I'm in self-isolation like a whole bunch of other people. It's on my cup. I guess it's okay. So I have some regular black tea. I'll just have a snort. And um, I'm adding a little bit of lemon juice. Um, fresh lemon would be better, but hey. So uh, what I'm trying to do is plan a little food. I think that's a good idea. These are my potatoes that had sprouted. And so my potatoes had sprouted, and so I cut those out, and I dehydrated my... Um, my uh, potatoes so if you don't have a dehydrator you can dehydrate in the oven so what you want to do is make sure they're they're fully high dehydrated all the way through so I dehydrated some uh, potatoes and uh, believe it or not the apples are taking a little bit longer so um, like when I test my like, see how this one's getting really, really... This one's done. Some of them are done. But if they're soft and spongy, they're not done. And so if you get a chance to get these dehydrators at the uh, thrift stores, uh, there's probably some great deals at the thrift stores right about now. Okay, so I got this uh, recipe off of the salmon can. We'll try it. I find this brand to be good. I found it in mackerel, but not in salmon. But when I do, I will buy some. Okay, so I said to myself, well, I'm, I'm isolating. I'm by myself. I don't like being isolated, but I know I have to if I want to stay alive. So I said to myself, how can I make this isolation productive? You know, you're stuck here. You might as well make it as productive as possible. So I have an eBay business, but right now I wouldn't imagine people are buying much, but I did sell a few things. So I'm buying my stuff in thrift stores. I had been buying stuff about two years. And um, so I'm going through my stuff, and I'm going from... Um, the resale business to, to selling new stuff. Trying to think like the consumer. You know what would be nice, really nice new stuff at a really cheap price, which I can afford to sell at a really cheap price because I bought it at a really cheap price. So I have this saying on my eBay channel, buy cheap, sell cheap, and repeat. But see what is, um, see what is successful. I find coats. Uh, dresses like party dresses like brand new I sold some from Nordstrom's good labels brand new yeah coats sweaters and boots that's what I found to be successful so okay how can I make this self isolation productive well you can clean your dwelling um, spotless I mean if you had to pay somebody for deep cleaning it's very expensive I used to do it for a living Okay, so that's one. Number two, we got to get back to the basics of life. I don't think that's a good idea. I think we should get back to the bare minimum now until this thing passes. If you look at uh, de recessions and depressions um, historically, okay, in the last recession, the real estate crash, I know one person who lost almost all their $4 million in the, swap me in the stock market and that's a lot of money if you're not rich. And then I know someone who lost all of his retirement. It uh, Just me. I know two people. And I know scores of people who almost lost their houses. Some of them did. Some of them were able to sell. But sometimes when you sell, that's not really the best thing either. So um, what I would expect this time is real estate dumping. To, uh, they might need cash. So I'm not getting into that, any of that. The bare minimum 
would be food, water, and heat for now. Uh, you know, no one's cheap like rich people. First of all, they have everything they need, so they just don't spend any money. But poor people can do the same thing. Food, water, and heat. Okay, if you're not, like, you're not a prepper and things aren't super duper, what you're going to do is you're going to go through your house and you're going to try to eat that food down and you're going to buy cheap food. Just like the bare minimum survival for now. That's what I'm doing. So, um, if you saw the last video, uh, I found, I bought these for $2 at 99 cent only because I got uh, two cans of this salmon at um, the food pantry and I found this stuff is actually four meals per can for one person. So I bought two of those. Another thing is I bought two ketchups because if you don't have any vegetables like in facilities, like in, you know, I, I don't like to think of what kind of facilities, but uh, they count ketchup as a vegetable. So that's a good thing to stockpile. Then I bought one package of, of you know, Dollar Tree Benadryl. When I went to the hospital and I thought I was having a stroke, I was in there for a while and I had a lot of IVs and when um, I was ready to, to leave, I heard the doctor uh, tell them to give me Benadryl and Tylenol. So I will never be without this stuff. When I got home, I administered two, two more doses of this of allergy medicine. So I bought some more to make sure I'm never out of allergy medicine. Uh, some of these uh, sicknesses could be allergic reactions, and I wouldn't doubt it. I coughed very violently, and and there I went over everything I had done, everything I had eaten, but so I bought some of that. And then Richie from Boston said, buy Imodium, couldn't find any, so I just bought this. This is diarrhea medicine in case our water is ble breached. Okay, with um, fecal, fecal matter, you know, leaching or some kind of contamination. So it would be best to um, drink um, bottled water. Out here I can refill my water for 20 cents. Okay, so I'm driving around and I'm thinking, what in the hell is going on? Do I honestly think that our government is trying to destroy the American people? No, I really don't. And I was thinking, and I was thinking, and I thought, okay, I think I know what's going on. Okay, let's not be stupid. What is going on? Well, we're in a terrible recession. Yeah, that's true. Hmm, wonder why. On and on. Well, what's going on? is a grand solar minimum. That means what's going on is a mini ice age. And I have done a lot of videos on this. Another, another word for grand solar minimum is a mini ice age. And what would happen during a mini ice age? Okay, we're surrounded. We're surrounded by big storm clouds and guarantee you heavy rain is coming and it's cold. So during um, a mini ice age, there would be a lot of cases of pneumonia. Well, of course. And then this snow and this rain and this freezing cold weather would disrupt the crop cycle. And it did last year. We had uh, a loss of pork, a huge loss in China. We had a loss of beef. We had a lot here. We had a loss of crops, so what we basically had was a loss of food. We had a loss of, um, of various crops. Uh, I know we had a loss of soy. We had a loss of grapes in Washington. Um, I'm not sure. I think it was corn. I'm not sure. But anyway, so we had a massive crop uh, loss, which, and so what they did is, you know, after the storms, they kind of like sent the cattle to market early 
you know, they, so they didn't have to feed them and fatten them up. And so now what's happening this year, in my opinion, is year two of the grand solar minimum. So for my followers, and someone said, boy, you don't have very many followers. And I go, yeah, that's true, but I have the ones that I was fortunate enough to get. Prepare for a mini ice age. Don't be going out in the cold weather and catching pneumonia. Don't be caught in your house with no food. You know, that's what's going on, in my opinion. I don't think it's the Chinese trying to kill us. They got their own hands full. Um, I do think the mini ice age could reduce the population due to sickness and starvation. So uh, when you get a chance, try to pick up things like this. This is a lot of food, actually. Um, I think um, they're saying, um, I don't know if it's three to four ounces of meat. That's kind of skimpy. Like, they're very skimpy on the uh, tuna packages. I think they're two and a half ounces. So if you went at this, it's $1.25 for, um, you are paying for some bone but you can cook it with some uh, baked potatoes and make a pretty decent meal. Okay, if you have any comments, it would be greatly appreciated. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.